Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem is related to the right angle triangle. I can't apply the Pythagorean theorem for any triangle except the right angle triangle. As we know that in the right angle triangle, we have two sides. We call them legs, and we have the side opposite to the right angle, and we call it hypotenuse. Again, the hypotenuse is the longest side in the right angle triangle, and it's opposite to the angle 90. The other two sides, we call them legs. You have cases that these two legs are equal, and you have cases that one of the legs is greater in length than the other. In our theorem, we are going to call the hypotenuse with letter C, or we are going to name or label the hypotenuse with letter C, and the two legs with letters A and B, the two legs with letters A and B. Generally, the Pythagorean theorem is that the square length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. A square is equal B square, sorry, A square plus B square is equal to C square. Square or area of the square drawing the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the areas drawing on the leg. Or easily, I can say that leg square plus leg square equal hypotenuse square. Let's apply this theorem for the triangle in the given figure ABC if the length of A is equal to 3 and the length of B is equal to 4. I am looking for the length of C. So A is a leg, B is a leg, C is hypotenuse. So leg square plus leg square equal hypotenuse square. So 3 square plus 4 square is equal to C square. 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16. 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. C squared is equal to 25, but you are looking for the value of C. You are not looking for the value of C squared. So by taking the root for both sides, so the value of C is equal to 5. 3, 4, 5 is one of the well-known right angle triangle. The one that you should copy it in your mind. That if I have two legs, 3 and 4, in the right angle triangle, the hypotenuse directly is equal to 5, and you don't have to write all these kind of steps. Another example, in the given triangle ABC, the given B, one of the legs, is equal to 5, and the hypotenuse is equal to 13, and I'm looking for the length of the side A. So leg square plus leg square equal the hypotenuse square, or A square plus B square is equal to C square. So A square, which is equal to A plus 5 square equal 13 square. 13 square is 13 by 13. And 13 by 13 is 169, 169. So value of the missing side is 144. By taking the both root for both sides, the value of A is equal to 144. So by taking the root, A is equal to 12. Also, 12, 5, and 13 is one of the well-known right angle triangles. We have something which is very important, we call it some important Pythagorean triangles, which are the right angle triangle with given lengths, or the well known right angle triangle. One of the well known right angle triangle is the 3, 4, 5. If the two legs, their length is 3, 4, so the third side is equal to 5. And the other one, 6, 8, and 10. Why I have the window at my back? Because it's raining outside and the weather is wonderful. I'm enjoying the side of the, of the window here. And the third one is 5, 12, and 13. 5, 12, and 13. The fourth one, 7, 24, and 25. And the last one is 8, 15, and 17. My advice to you is to put in mind these values because you are, if you are solving any exam, having a geometry of Pythagorean theorem without using calculator. For the first question here, I have find the value of B, and it's clear for us that I have a right angle triangle. One of the legs is four, the other leg is unknown, and I have the hypotenuse. We have said a few minutes ago that we have important things about that, or important treble triangles, three, four, five. So if you know the answer, it's a three. If you wanted to write it down at the steps, you know that B square plus four square is equal to five square. So B square, plus 16 is equal to 25. By subtracting 16 from both sides, b squared is equal to 9. 
by taking the root, the value of b is equal to 3. The second question, find the length of AC. AC represents here the hypotenuse. So we know that 6, 8, the third side, yes, very good, is equal to 10. 6, 8, 10 is one of the well known right angle triangle. Or you can say that 6 square plus 8 square is equal to C square. So 36 plus 64 is equal to C square. So 100 is equal to C square. By taking the root for both sides, root and root, so the value of C is equal to 10. Question number three, I have one of the legs missing, let's call it X. So X square plus 12 square is equal to 13 square. So X square plus 144 is equal, sorry, here, plus, is equal to 169. Subtracting 144 from both sides. So X square is equal to 25 by taking the root. So the value of x is equal to 5. Regarding question number 4, I have one of the legs missing. So let's apply the Pythagorean rule. x square plus 7 square is equal to 10 square. So x square plus 49 is equal to 100 by subtracting 49 from both sides. So x squared is equal to 51. And by taking the root, so x is equal to the root of 51. So the right answer is A. Question number five. I have a right angle triangle and I have the length of the legs, but I'm missing is the hypotenuse. So 7 squared plus 4 squared is equal to x squared. So 49 plus 16 is equal to x squared. 9 and 6 is 5, carry up 1, 5, 6 is equal to x squared. By taking the root, so x is equal to the root of 65. So I want the answer as radical as I'm not using the calculator, so the right answer is C. Question number 6. 